Welcome back. Uh, we have a guest on today that's with the Saddleback College Emeritus Institute, and she teaches Spanish. I'd like to welcome Marcela Duran de Maranfard. Did I pronounce that right or close? Correct. Close Correct. enough. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> I, I was telling Marcela that we just had a contractor with a similar name, so I, I kind of got used to that a little bit. It's great to have you here. And uh, the Emeritus program, you've been teaching uh, Spanish there. How long have you been doing that? Well, I started at Saddleback College and teaching, in, teaching, teaching Spanish okay. in 2006. And then in 2007, I was offered a class at the Emeritus Institute. Great. Yes, so and I was happy to take it because um, I thought I could learn a lot from this group of students, um, experienced professionals, and um, some of them are doctors. So I could learn a lot from all of these people in my class. Yeah, I, that's, I get that from a lot of the instructors we have on. Uh, they kind of say the same thing. As far as teaching a, a different language, I, you know, it's, it's not uncommon that high school and maybe your first or second year of college, you take a, a second language. A lot of times it's a requirement. Um, but these people obviously are doing this because they want to. And do you find the, uh, the enthusiasm, even older adults, to finally learn a second, second language? Is there a lot of enthusiasm there? Yes, you know, this group of people, they're very enthusiastic. They come to the class because they want to learn the language. Mm -hmm. you no, know, they don't need the grade. Yeah, they exactly. don't need to be there. They don't have to be there. Yeah. So they really want to be there and learn. And that's really rewarding for me to see and to come to them and you know see how they start learning the language. Is there a different approach when you were teaching just Saddleback students that first year or two? Was there, did you change your approach when you started teaching older adults? Or is it still kind of the same, uh, you, you go through the same uh, kind of steps to teach Spanish? Um, not exactly. Okay. We, you know, I try to kind of adjust or modify according to um, my students mm -hmm. you know if I see they need more conversational practice they need more vocabulary they need depending on their needs I try to accommodate every semester I try to change it a little bit what are some of the reasonings that uh, older adults want to speak Spanish or, or learn learn a second language in general of course but Spanish in particular is it the culture within this area uh, maybe family members or just something they've always wanted to learn? There are many benefits. Uh, for example, they want to learn the language to travel to a Spanish-speaking country mm -hmm. uh, so they can have a good time, communicate with the people, and um, also sometimes it's family reasons. Mm -hmm. Their children have married to a Spanish speaker um, spouse and um, they want to communicate with their in-laws. They also might want to communicate with their grandkids who might speak right. Spanish. So, and also um, just to learn a new language, a new culture, which you know we have a lot of similarities between the Spanish culture and the American culture. Right. Exactly. For example, um, Halloween, you know, uh, festivities, uh, Day of Christmas, the dead. Day of the Dead. Um, new I year. love that. I love yes. that day. Yes. So we like to learn, you know, the similarities and the difference between these celebrations. Oh, and definitely. It's fun. It's fun for, you know, the class. So prior to teaching at Saddleback, was that uh, the first time you taught or did you, did you teach before then? Before teaching at Saddleback, I taught that um, in a high school, private high school okay. in Irvine. Yes. Oh, very good. Yes. So you've been doing this for quite a while. Always Spanish or other programs? Always Spanish. Always Spanish. Very yes. Good. So I've been doing it for almost 10 years. Yes. So why do you really enjoy and love the Emeritus program? Is it just kind of what we talked about? The people are there because they want to be there. I love the people. I love the group of students who are always enthusiastic, you know, to come and learn. And of course, I learn, I, le I like teaching them, you know, the new language that they, they're interested on. And mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful for me to see that, you know, how they can start speaking and learning and all that. So it's, that's another reason. I love. So uh, as far as the classes, compared to uh, obviously in, when you were at Saddleback, 
you have, I guess, Spanish 101, 102, you know, they can go on for quite a while. What about here? Are the classes similar? Is it like beginning Spanish or are there some advanced classes for some students that maybe already have some skills? Uh, yes, so when I first started uh, the Emeritus uh, Institute, we had only two classes, one beginning, one intermediate. Mm -hmm. Now, next fall, Emeritus will offer five courses. Oh, great. So three beginning and two intermediates. And um, in the intermediate level, they will you know, learn uh, vocabulary, skills, mm -hmm. grammars, and um, of course, conversational skills as well. Right. And the intermediate level, they will learn, um, improve their conversational skills, vocabulary, and reading comprehension. And at the end of the class, they will be able to do an oral presentation in Spanish. Wow. Yes, which is beautiful to see. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you bring, as far as uh, teaching the language, do you also teach some of the culture that goes around along with it as of well? Of course, yes, because culture is part of the language. Sure. So I, we do, we, uh, I introduce, you know, songs mm -hmm. in Spanish. I, we dance the salsa music, the uh, merengue music in, in class, because it's part of the culture. Yeah. And also um, we do, um, compare different celebrations mm -hmm. you know, within both cultures, the American and the Spanish cultures. I can see so. where music would really help. It, it seems when people learn a song through, and it's in a different language, they kind of remember it better yes. because it becomes lyrical and, and you know one word flows into the next and then you can kind of dissect the song as, as to exactly what it's saying. They may learn it not even knowing what it's fully saying, but they'll, un they'll learn the words, right? And then they kind of realize, okay, this is, this is what it's saying in the song. Yes, it's beautiful to see, like in the intermediate classes, mm -hmm. uh, many of my students memorize the songs and they perform at the end of the class. On the yeah. last class, um, they memorize the songs, they perform it, they make groups, they can perform in groups or individuals. And um, it's beautiful just to see how they enjoy it, mm -hmm. how they enjoy it. At the intermediate level, uh, they know the meaning, even in the beginning level. They know the meaning of the songs because yeah. we go over before. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, as far as uh, the classes that you teach, fall, spring, do you do uh, summer as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so we do offer, uh, we have offered the last two summers, um, intermediate level classes. Okay. So, yes, there is at least one every summer. Very good. Well, it sounds like a, a great class and uh, as, as we we're saying, these are people who are not trying to fulfill a requirement as uh, someone who is maybe uh, ending high school or beginning college. This is something that they really want to do so I can see the enthusiasm and passion is really there. Yes. Yes, definitely, yes. Very good, it's great to have you on. Well, thank you very much for I having me. I can see your thank enthusiasm. You. Thank you, it. thank you. And this is what makes the uh, Meritus program so good is f the instructors are there because they really enjoy it and uh, the constant message I hear from the instructors is the give and take from each side. They're learning from the students as well. Yes, of course, you know, with all these uh, experiences that these people bring to the classroom and it's, it's rewarding to hear all this um, feedback yeah. at the end of the class. It's, it's great. Well, good. Thank you. Glad to have you on. Thank you very uh, much. The, the website, by the way, is you just go to saddleback.edu forward slash emeritus. So I would think like right about now, I, I'm trying to think when they can start to sign up for uh, the fall classes, or probably end of July. The fall registration starts August 3rd. August 3rd. August okay. 3rd. Yes. All right. Yes, Very and good. the new semester, fall semester starts August 17th. Okay. Yes. Very good. So uh, we'll certainly remind you of that. Marcella, thank you for coming on. You're welcome. And um, the class schedule is online already. Okay. You know, whoever is interested is with all the classes that Emeritus offer. Oh, so they can already start planning out. Yes, definitely. Very good. Thank you. Good to have you here. Thank you. And we'll be right back.
community of new friends and fellow lifelong learners awaits you in the Saddleback College Emeritus Institute. Take advantage of tuition-free courses in Laguna Woods Village and throughout South Orange County that pair expert faculty and older adult students. Apply on our website or by visiting our Clubhouse 4 office or the Saddleback campus. The Saddleback College Emeritus Institute, your first choice for lifelong learning in South Orange County.